And the other thing to think about is air pressure affects color match. So if we go in tomorrow and we start spraying at 22 PSI, but we're looking at color chips that were sprayed at 29, it's not gonna be the same color. If we have plenty of room to blend, you know, it's not a big deal. If we're painting just a bumper and we're supposed to mount it up on that vehicle and I've got a spray out that matches at 29 PSI, I don't think that's gonna match, right? So we Absolutely. need to obviously make adjustments when a color match is critical or when we do, you know, camera readings and we need that color position to be exactly where it's where it was uh, originally at. So that's important to understand that when you've got blend room, the air pressure not as critical, right? When you don't have blend room, now the air pressure becomes a lot more critical. Absolutely. So talking about the colors camera target. So when we look at uh, the acquire, you know, the EFX or the or the um, what's the new one? <laughs> 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 color camera. So yeah, when we when we think about the color camera, um, we definitely want to make sure that when we spray, the color camera reading that's given, um, that we see on the screen and in in in, in uh, color proof, is basically sprayed at that twenty nine psi. Okay, so if we feel like we've got some fudge room where we can we can drop that air pressure and it won't be quite as critical of a color match, we're good. If not, then of course we need to use that full air pressure in order to get that color. So, and then spray gun selection. There's a, a, a myriad of things that can happen with spray guns with rebuilding and we've got examples of people who wore out. I mean, I didn't realize you could even do this, but you can actually take a 1.3 and it's now a 1.8 because we just used it for so long, right? And, uh, you know, we've seen examples of that. Um, no cheater valves because you get the little cheater valve. You don't know what the air pressure is. It's impossible to know. Uh, John talked about hiding and coverage. We're going to get in, we're going to show you a video quick that talks about stop and start areas. So we're going to want to extend those if we can. So what we're talking about here isn't overlap. It's the, it's where, like if we spray a door, we stop at the, the back door and we stop at the fender. That's normally how we do it. What we're saying is extend those stop and start areas. And then of course, Dogs, uh, you all have probably heard of, of dogs, distance, overlap, and gun speed. That's the acronym we use for that, understanding the, uh, the overlaps and things like this. And this is just a visual really quick to show you. If you go 50%, which was many of us were taught 50%, and you can see um, this little area right here. Those areas are not covered as well as this area here, right? So those areas will not hide as well as other areas. So 50% overlap, we end up with some gaps. And so we want to go to 75% overlap, um, you know, to make sure that we got good coverage. 